Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to travel on a really small budget so you can still have fun with life and not feel so constrained. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so I'm in my backyard because today is such a dang pretty day and I finally built a deck in my backyard so I'm really excited and yeah, it's just a really nice day. So welcome to my backyard. Um, let's talk, let's just go ahead and dive into the content of what we're going to be talking about. So if you want to save for a trip, but you don't really have a big, huge budget, there's a lot of little secrets and hacks that you can use to get you, so you can travel more and just, and just have a lot more fun. So the first thing is to start planning your trip now. So if you want to take a vacation, you have to start planning. When do you want to go on this vacation and where do you want to go? And some of my favorite resources for doing this is google.com slash flights. That is a dang good one. Um, another one is kayak. Kayak.com is also a great one where you can start to compare everything and see what's working and what's not working. The other one that I really like is Skyscanner. Skyscanner is a pretty dang good one too, but google.com slash flights is kind of my go-to. If you really don't care where you're going to go and you're just looking for something that's very budget friendly, great website because you can see how much stuff costs. I was looking at a flight from Boise to somewhere in either Central or Southern America and it ended up being like $400 for a round trip flight. That was crazy. But if you if you look around and you're not really set on a specific location, you can get a steal of a deal sometimes. Okay, so moving on to the second thing you have to do. If you want to take a vacation, you have to break it down and figure out how much do you need to be saving per month. So let's say you wanted to spend $1,200 for a trip four months from now. So you have to save 300 bucks per month. That's really not too bad. So when you break it down and you figure out exactly how much you have to save per month, it seems a lot more doable and a lot more tangible. And it's just, you're going to be able to travel more if you start to plan for that expense. That leads me to the third tip. If you're trying to save for a trip, you really do need to start a separate savings account. One of my favorite places to go for savings accounts is ally.com. They're not paying me to say this. I just really think they have a good savings account. So what Ally does is it, it's an online bank, which means because it's online, there's less fees and they can pay you more money, which is pretty cool. So for a savings account, you can get a savings account there for about 1% interest, which is unheard of for a savings account. But start one that's separate from your checking account. Just start a savings account, have it automatically pull. So if you're, you're, you're consistently saving $300 a month or whatever that amount is for you, make it automatic and make it in a separate savings account. Okay, so the next tip I have if you're trying to travel on a tight budget is to travel with your friends. You're gonna have a blast and it saves a crap ton of money. So here's an example. I went on a an Oregon Coast spring break trip with my family, a couple of my siblings, um, my little brother's girlfriend, and Tony, my fiance. And so what we did is we all split the cost. And so we rented a car, we stayed at a really awesome house that was steps away from the beach. It was gorgeous. And the total cost of that trip was $300 per person for like four or five nights. It was so cheap because we, we split the costs. And if you do that, you're going to get a better deal and you're going to have a ton of fun. So I highly suggest if that's in, in the cards for you, travel with some of your friends. It's a good way to go. Next tip is to not be embarrassed about the cost of your trip. Nobody cares if your trip costs you $5,000 or if it costs you $2,000. Nobody's going to care about that. No one's going to care if your trip costs you $300. Don't get caught into this trap of thinking that you have to you have to spend a ton of money to have an awesome trip. And when your friends are bragging about their really luxurious vacation to Europe and you feel bad because you weren't able to afford that, that happens sometimes, but do not feel bad about that. So try your very, very hardest not to compare your trip to people on Instagram, people on Facebook. Just don't even go down that route. And that will help you a lot too. You're traveling to have fun. So just go have fun and stop comparing yourself to other people. Okay, so my last tip is to Airbnb the heck out of it. So go on Airbnb.com. Search around. You can find some really damn good deals for really inexpensive. 
So you can get an entire house for less than $100 a night. And sometimes you can get some really cool, quirky apartments, condos, houses, whatever it is, that are a ton of fun. So go to Airbnb.com, check it out. That's usually the first place I go if I'm not booking like a package deal online because it is a little bit cheaper sometimes and you can get a really awesome deal. Plus you get a kitchen so you can do a lot of your cooking on your vacation there and spend a little bit of money on maybe a couple nice dinners or lunches or breakfast or whatever your thing is. But be very, very careful of eating out and having an Airbnb with a kitchen will help prevent you from spending a lot of money you don't need to spend. Okay, so those are my tips for saving money and traveling and having an awesome time. Don't be afraid to go travel the world, but make sure you're saving for it and you have a separate savings account that you're consistently building up a travel fund for. And have fun. Traveling is one of the best things in the world, and that's probably one of the biggest budget things that I completely support for people. Go travel. Go explore. Go become more cultured. It will always pay dividends because those memories will last forever. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, head on over to WhitneyHanson.com and sign up to get my newsletter updates or my free cheat sheets on paying off student loans and all kinds of fun stuff. So go check that stuff out. And I will see you guys next Thursday. Have a good one. And I'm going to enjoy my patio time with the sun and the airplane. It's really pretty out here though. Yeah, okay, bye guys.